not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlen. I'm here with another video and Arlen, it is we need to talk about something serious and you know, I've been I've been saying this for the longest like people thought I was joking people actually thought I bought views on my channel because some of the views on the videos like they would be inconsistent like one video would get like 52 views one video would get a hundred views and then you got videos that get 40,000 views and then you got videos that only get a thousand views and that's because of that's because of YouTube's new suppression bot. I've never bought views. I've never bought subs. I've never done done sub for sub. I may have used hashtags for sub for sub because like people who sub for sub search for that. But that's another story. But I've never sub for sub and I've never bought subs and I've never bought views, fake views, any of that. I've always just uploaded and people found me. And now it's getting even worse because like now with this suppression bot how are you supposed to truly grow like you'll still grow and get promoted but it's like dang how can you even get around a suppression bot you know a lot of people will be like dang this video didn't do so well they may think oh their channel's dying no it's just a suppression bot that's putting your videos down into oblivion and it, it sucks so let's go check out um Philip DeFranco's video because I guess now he's getting hit with it because I've been getting hit with it. Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. Uh, this, just from the, the, the get go, I want you to know this is not a regular Philip DeFranco show. In fact, I, I won't be posting until next Monday. I'll, I'll explain more on that later. And this video is an extremely frustrating but also exciting video for me to put out. I'll start with what is frustrating, which is that as of right now, with the current state, of YouTube. The Philip DeFranco show cannot thrive. Uh, in fact, I think very, very soon the Philip DeFranco show may not be able to survive. And it all really boils down to the increased crackdown from YouTube against this channel. I mean, if you've watched the show for a while, you know that I've talked about YouTube. He said this show may not be able to survive, bruh. Now, think about it. He's a huge creator. He has 6.1 million. Now, I'm sure he's still making a lot of money. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm making decent money, but what he's saying is from his overall business, like him wanting to innovate and expand. Yeah, he 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 can't survive because I know he's doing other things behind the scenes and he's using that income to create new shows and podcasts and things like that. Cracking down on the channel as far as monetization, uh, but this is a lot more. Back then, we noticed that the Philip DeFranco show had started being demonetized at a higher rate than normal. And so, to offset that, of course, we tried to include more sponsors. We launched the, the pay subscription service, DeFranco Elite. People sign up for five dollar, ten dollar month tiers. They get exclusive videos, early videos, exclusive live streams. There's a lot more, and it helps insulate us from the demonetization issue. It allows us to really thrive as a channel and also use that money to build out everything we've been doing behind the scenes. So, the demonetization issue on YouTube really isn't of the, the highest priority to me. Unfortunately, we're being hit by what I would call a, a sister algorithm. Often when you see YouTube comments about demonetization, they, they often separate it from suppression of views. And it's accurate, but also at the same time very misleading. Technically, demonetization and the rating of a video, let's say, as mature, where it's unable to be on trending, on the front page, watch next, the recommended tab. Think of those as separate, but very, very similar levers. While a video being demonetized does not 100% of the time mean that that video will be suppressed. Now let me see that is true. Because like if a video is demonetized, I've seen videos that I've made get 40,000 views even though they were copyright claimed or demonetized. And then you see some videos that get monetized actually get suppressed. And then you see some videos they're demonetized, which most of the time if they're demonetized, they are going to get suppressed. But there's rare occasions where they don't. YouTube's just being dishonest and not, they're not being congruent, man. <clears throat> dollar sign, it's kind of like a canary in a coal mine. Unfortunately, because YouTube is not transparent with how they rate our videos or why or what is in that video, you don't know for sure, but it's usually reflected in the views and at the rate of the views. As a side note, YouTube needs to change the back end to let us know what our videos are being rated. I mean, I would love for channels, because like, like a lot of other big channels have like accused me of buying views. Like channels with millions of views have like 
big channels have accused me of buying these. I'm like, no, I'm servicing in the algorithm because I'm simply just uploading a lot and some videos don't do well, some don't due to the fact, because that's why you can upload so much on YouTube now because you know that you're not going to lose a lot of ton of subscribers uploading a lot due to the suppression of the bot. Like seriously, people thought I was joking. Like it really is qual it really is quantity over quality now, which I know that sucks. But that's sad, isn't it? The deal world we'd love to also know why. Right, so an example last week, several of our videos were suppressed. Tons of comments saying the video is not popping up where it normally does. What's the deal? Next morning the videos have around three hundred to four hundred fifty thousand less views than the average videos normally have. One of the biggest problems is is this is now happening at an alarming rate. And usually what happens is when we bring it to YouTube that they look into it, they, they either say like, oh, okay, well you talked about this thing, you showed this thing. Are you serious? He's a news commentator, YouTube. What are you doing? <laughs> Relation to the story, which I would understand demonetization, sure. Me talking about a series. Me, me and my girlfriend watch Philip DeFranco all the time to watch the news. I don't even, for, sometimes I don't even watch traditional news outlets. I watch Philip DeFranco because I actually enjoy Philip DeFranco and I feel like he's more truthful and less biased. If anything, sometimes he's not even biased. He passes on the question to the audience and says, what do you guys think? after he even tells his own opinion. Like, these other news outlets are fucking trash. Like, and you guys will put Jimmy Fallon and all these dumbass people who didn't even build your platform up. They're just here for the money because they know you have a lot of reach. And then you want to treat your creators and the people who upload it on here to make it popular in the first place in the mainstream. Really? Are you serious, YouTube? Like. You're going to suppress one of your long-term creators over some money because you have these... My phone's going off, but you're going to suppress people like me and Philip DeFranco and all that. I, I'm, I'm not going to put myself in the same level. <laughs> I steal content, but that's not the point. You guys are suppressing the people who made the platform popular in the first place. What are you going to do? Are, are you guys going to turn into a TV network? Is that, is this, is YouTube TV and YouTube Red the future? YouTube Red Originals? I'm trying to understand. Because right now you're becoming very political correct, a very political correct platform. And you don't want anything that is remotely just, you're being, you're allowing yourself to be regulated to where you're almost centralized. You're not even a decentralized internet platform like you used to be. It's sad. Yeah, Russia, United States relations, maybe Pepsi doesn't want, want that ad there. But it does make sense to people that watch my show on a regular basis that I'm not popping up on the homepage right away <clears> to <throat> watch next. YouTube built the system so that they feel comfortable knowing, oh, if Phil posts a new video, that's where it's going to be. Or they say, well, you know, the algorithm's learning, the AI's learning. Well, that's the problem. Because this is popping up more and more, it appears that the algorithm has learned to crack down on my videos now. And like I said, I don't want this to be just a video of me whining. Uh, part of this is also one, I want people to know that I have been posting videos you may not just have seen them. And two, to really just send my plea out to YouTube, please help me. I want to be able to talk about the news here, world news, serious issues. And I, I honestly, I honestly now, based off of the way YouTube has set itself up, don't believe that I can thrive on this platform anymore. And that's incredibly disheartening for me, especially as a creator who's been on the platform for over a decade, who, who really, like, I love saying that I'm a YouTuber, but not with the way things are now. Now that said, to flip it over to the exciting, this may be news for a lot of people that are not members of DeFranco Elite, also people that haven't seen certain little snippets we've included in vlogs. What we've been doing behind the scenes for these many, many <coughs> months has been building up to be able to launch the new news network. And having to deal with all of this stupid, ridiculous YouTube bullshit is not stopping me from launching any of that. When I left Group 9 slash Discovery, I brought a little small team with me. Behind the scenes, we've hired a ton of people so we can expand. We built out a six-person research and investigative team that is most likely going to go to 10 in the near future. We even bring on and testing a stable of hosts on brand new shows. Many with journalism, reporting backgrounds, also just from different walks of life. This is for a variety of new shows we've talked about in the past. Deep dive, short social videos. What is a sanctuary city? How did they come to be, and why should we even care? Today, we're talking about a word you've probably heard and seen all over the media these last couple months. Tariffs. Today, we're breaking down how Spotify became the most powerful music company in the world, 
the price of a billion streams, and whether or not your favorite musicians are getting stiffed. We've been working on a semi daily oh, nice. live news show where we go in, we give all the facts, and then we all kind of talk about it and debate it. Also, a big part of the reason we want to do that live is so that we can bring back the conversation with you guys and actually include you in the <coughs> video. Along with that, at the same time, building out the support structure so that we can bring back the interview show, which of course we recently tested with Sean Evans. <laughs> Military grade butthole right here. On top of that, we've been testing and creating a morning podcast, you know, so you can get it on Apple iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, whatever. And as of May, we are going to be moving out of the lifeboat that has been this office. If you remember when I bought back my channel, I left the previous company. We, we were <laughs> we were filming out of Airbnbs. We got a very short-term lease. We are now moving into the big studio to accommodate all the things we've been building behind the scenes. Multiple soundproof sets. We could be shooting six different pieces of content at the same time. There's plenty of room to expand and grow into it. We're also, I completely forgot before, where we're starting an o and website. It's going to be part phase one, phase two, and that's also a thing I want to note is that these are going to be incremental releases. I don't want to throw everything at the wall at the same time. That seems like guaranteed failure. And really, all that is now changing is that none of that will go to YouTube first. I am tired of trying to work with the alcoholic, negligent stepfather that is YouTube. At this point, it really... Yeah, YouTube really at this point is like losing themselves, you know, on the horizon of Twitch. I don't know if Twitch is going to be able to compete because for some reason you can't leave your videos up over the past six months, which is fucking ridiculous. And you can only mostly live stream from what I see. I mean, I tried to upload functionality, but it's just so, it's so subpar. It's not good at all. Um, I hope YouTube figures this out. I don't know, man. It, they just, they fucking up. They're fucking up and people are like, if I can't make money, I'm leaving. I mean, I'm still going to upload me personally, because that's still money in my pocket, even if it's not as much. Because, you know, my checks used to be maybe, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm, I used to get like maybe $2,000 checks from YouTube every month. And now they're like down to about 500 200 It just depends. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, and th these checks, like, I don't live off YouTube, of course. I do other stuff. I mean, I just do a lot of other stuff and I just make sure I keep my money straight. But I'm just saying, man, like, I don't know. It's like a lot of create. I feel bad for the YouTubers that did wasn't smart with their money. Like me, I invested my money. I have money in different pods and different places. On top of that, I still work a nine to five, and I I do invest money in different businesses and things like that. Like I'm good. Like I'm just I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? So y'all don't have to worry about me leaving YouTube as far as I know because. I'm not really doing anything on Philip DeFranco's scale because he makes millions of dollars. I'm not doing anything on this scale. Um, I'm just like creating and you know trying to increase my income and things like that. But I don't know about other YouTubers who weren't smart with their money. You kind of have to, if you're going to do YouTube, you kind of got to create the means to be able to do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, man, just watch yourself. Hey, guys, make sure you purchase the Merch Wise Hot Boy and make sure you click the link in the description, man. What are you waiting for? Make sure you turn on post notifications, subscribe, and check out the latest videos in my music and the merch link and other stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the support.